Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, cat! You hey, made hey, it through hey. Halloween, okay? I made it through Halloween. <laughs> I just had my anniversary weekend. Oh, with Jason. hey, congratulations! Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. yep, there you two go. years cotton anniversary. So wow. you know, it wasn't like you know a big like blowout or anything, but we went shopping for uh, for new sheets. We got like comfy new sheets and and got cotton. some really nice. Nice, yeah, I got nice you. new bath towels and stuff. I was going to say matching like, pajamas. <laughs> nah, nah, we're not matching pa- pajamas Cotton. kind of people. But but I was like, I'll take any excuse for a new set of bath towels. <laughs> like, yeah, that's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. yeah went, went had a nice dinner at Black Trumpet. And, oh, okay. And cool. we, we heard the dulcet tones of Patty and Acuna. And so we went downstairs to Misty Mountain and... Her and uh, doing PA and T Roy were playing, so we got to have some good music too yeah. after dinner. It was a good time. Oh yeah. man, you got what you could do that Saturday night thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Groovy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, congratulations! Nice. Two years already, huh? Wow, I know, right? Geez, yeah, yeah. 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 Just two years. Just seems like you were up there mm-hmm. checking out your uh, dress and all that stuff when you ran up to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Medford or Grants Pass mm-hmm. there that time. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! How the time flies. Yeah. It does when you're yeah. having fun. There you go. What, uh, so yeah, that's what you get this weekend. So then mm-hmm. just relax the rest of the weekend. Yeah, just. Had a nice quiet weekend together, yeah, and that's yeah, exactly yeah. what we needed. Yeah. So <laughs> it was yeah. good. It was good. How about you? Oh, well, you know, we had a hectic Halloween. See, Beth always did the haunted house, so right. she never was at her house during Halloween. Her daughter was for you know a couple of years and stuff. Would hand out the candy, and she'd tell her that it was crazy sometimes and everything. Hmm. But Beth never got the gist of it until this year. And we walked around the neighborhood ourselves, mm-hmm. and we just saw like I mean, I saw cars parked down the parking lot. I mean, this was a scene. You know, everybody. This has been going on for years in that neighborhood. She just didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. Mm-hmm. I always took them around the school and everything. That's where we went, you know. Mm-hmm. But this is up Third Street and all them streets up there. Mm-hmm. People like were coming up to the doors in like twenties, you know. Boom, 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 boom. Hit mm-hmm. it must have been a thousand people. Show candy. We she had a one of them big old cauldrons, black cauldrons, was filled mm-hmm. with candy. To the top. Mm-hmm. And at first, we were just giving out, you know, handfuls going, ha, 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 ha. Got about halfway down, and all of a sudden, like, groups of 20 coming up to the door at a time, you know, boom, boom. And you see the other ones walking across. The head and say, yeah, mm-hmm. I say it dropped down to one uh, after we got about three quarters down the dang thing. Oh, yeah. it was crazy. But yeah. uh, but Junior, yeah, he did good. He had a great time and everything like that. And mm-hmm. uh, it was fun. But like I said, it was crazy out there. I mean, uh, I guess it's something they do, you know, because the swimming pool. Mm-hmm. And that park is there, you know, the skating park and right. everything's right there. Yeah. And they park area. right in there. Mm-hmm. And somebody actually is in there giving them lights. So I knew this is like, oh, this is a yearly thing. You yeah. know? This is like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And people were, they were staged together, like in groups going to, oh, it was wild. Mm-hmm. It was wild. Mm-hmm. So that was crazy. So I'd never seen that side of town before on Halloween. So that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And then this weekend we just hung out. It was cool. Had a good time and uh, just relaxed after that, you know, and everything. It was a couple of days off. During the week, and Junior was off a couple of days, so yeah, he was off on Fridays. Mm-hmm. He'll be off again this Friday. So right. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Holidays they, are upon. <laughs> yeah, my holidays are upon. Yeah, then he's going to be a week off here pretty soon. Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But that's it. Just hung out and was cool after that. We were just relaxing a little bit. Uh, taking down Halloween decorations yeah. and all that good stuff, of course. Yes, we got that out of the way. So mm-hmm. yeah, that was it. Just had a regular mellow weekend. So hope everybody out there went and had some fun this weekend. And we got a lot of stuff still going on. I mean, it just don't end around here. We got music, plays, all kinds of stuff going on. So uh, we'll get on with this. But before we get going, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be there. And now let's get going with the music schedule. Yeah, to start things off, let's look at some music dates for the Black Sage Runners. They're playing on the 10th of November at Oxenfree at 9 o'clock. And then on the 11th, they'll be at Mr. Ed's in Port Orford. Music up there starts at 7. Yeah. I got to meet the guys and everything. When the person hit me up, they wanted to promote it. And they go, what do I got to do? And they asked about him. And I was like, you know what? 
they came down and pinch hit it for us at one of our events, like something something we had going on, and they sure. were there playing somewhere else, and we hired them for that night, but they weren't in the promo, you know, or anything. Oh. I'm pretty sure we had them. Those, mm-hmm. It's the three guys. They were really good. They were mm. really good, yeah. Mm. So that's very cool. That's very cool. Hey, we got Misty Mountain Brewing going. They got on the 18th and the 21st, Mr. Lon Goddard. He'll be playing from 6 to 8. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and up at Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill on the 10th, P.A. and T. Roy will be playing from 6 to 8. Then on the 17th, Long Goddard will be playing from 6 to 8. And on the 25th, Black GTO will be playing again from 6 to 8. Yes, indeedy. And in Ateca, they've got the Red Hot Sham coming on the 10th at 8 p.m. On the 11th, they got AMS at 8 p.m. On the 17th, it's Cut It Like the Kings at 8. And then on the 18th, they're having their class, a 2013 10-year reunion from 4 p.m., to 10 p.m. That's going to be a long party right there. And the horrifying thing for me is realizing that that means it's been 15 years that I've been out of high school. Yeah. <laughs> the time flies. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats to the class of 2013. Yes, indeed. Hey, over at the Elk Valley Casino, they have some events happening at the Betty Green Events Center. On the 8th, it's comedian Barry Neal starting at 8 o'clock. On the 11th, they're going to host Black GTO starting at 7. And then at their Warriors Bar and Grill on the 10th and 11th, the Mighty Steelheads will play... On the 17th and 18th, Mike Powell. And on the 24th and 25th, Jesse Mead. And all of those musicians are starting at 7.30. Yes, they are. Hey, and P.A. and T-Roy will be playing on the 11th at Kuhn Tai, 6 to 8. And then on the 17th, there will be a Czech Cobra and Company, 6 to 8. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they then Danielle Duran Open Mic events are happening every Tuesday at Oxenfree at 8 o'clock. And then also every Thursday, that's at Checo Brewing from 5 to 7. Yes, indeedy. Hey, and the Tony Land Band, they'll be playing on the 18th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. And then the Mighty Steelheads are going to be playing on the 10th and 11th, again at the Elk Valley Casino, starting at 7. And then on the 18th, they'll be at Porta Pints in Crescent City at 8 p.m. Yeah, and hey, forget about it. It's the Italian guys. They'll be playing on the 25th at Coon Tai, 6 p.m. And then Ranch Party is playing on the 17th at Coon Tai. Music there running from 6 to 8. And Mike Powell will be playing on the 17th and the 18th at Elk Valley Casino at 7.30. And Cisco and Daltrey are playing on the 8th and the 29th of this month. They're going to be at the Checo Activity Center in the daytime, playing from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. That's right. A little afternoon lunch uh, music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Black GTO will be playing on the 11th at Elk Valley Casino, 7 to 10. On the 25th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, 6 to 8. And on the 26th, they'll be at the Red Lion Bar in Eureka from 8 to 11. Mm-hmm. And then we have a slew of dates here for Lon Goddard. He's playing on the 10th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. And then on the 16th, he's back at Coon Tai again from 6 to 8 p.m. On the 18th and the 24th, he'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing. On the 11th, he's playing an art walk gig at the Semi-Aquatic Gallery from 3 to 6. And on the 17th, he'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant up in Gold Beach playing from 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah, and Jeevan, he'll be playing on the 11th at Gold Beach Wellness Center doing Kirtan. That's singing healing mantras in Sanskrit and English. He'll be doing that at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. All so right. we love, knocked out some music there. Yeah, I love seeing some new names on the list as well. Very nice. Yeah, isn't that cool? I, yeah. yeah. So the Southwestern Oregon Community College Curry Campus is presenting Seafood Cycles on the South Coast. The entire community is invited on Wednesday, November 8th from 12 to 1 p.m. to learn about seafood cycles on the South Coast. Have you ever wondered about the different seasons of fishing on the South Coast? How has the catch changed over the years? How does the seafood industry impact other parts of the coastal economy and lifestyle? You can join them as local fishermen Bernie Lindley and Willie Gergen answer these questions and more. Bernie and Willie continue the family tradition of fishing out of the Port of Brookings, and both are good storytellers. Bernie has shared his crab fishing experiences on several Facebook posts. Willie owns Catalyst Restaurant and Harbor, well known for serving fresh caught crab and fish. The program is sponsored by the Friends of Curry Campus and will be held in the community room on Southwestern's Curry Campus. That's at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway. That's just off of Highway 101 north of Brookings. Bring a friend and a brown bag lunch to this free event. And for more information about it, you can contact the Curry Campus at 541-813-1667. Oh, yeah, and Willie is also Jesse G's dad. So there you go. (laughs) Very cool. Hey, Music in the Redwoods is presenting the Gary and Wynn Quintet at Crescent Oak Auditorium on 994 G Street in Crescent City. 
This will be happening on the 8th, 7 p.m. This concert is free, but donations are accepted. All right. And then Fort Castle Books, located at 553 Checo Avenue in Brookings, is presenting a poetry reading featuring Gary Lark. This is happening on the 9th of November at 5.30 p.m. Gary Lark is the author of six books and four chapbooks. His most recent collections are Easter Creek, Main Street Rag, Daybreak on the Water, Flowstone Press, and Ordinary Gravity from Airly Press. His work has appeared in over 100 journals, including Belloy Poetry Journal, Rattle, and Sky Island. For more information about these poetry readings, you can contact Michael Spring at 541 541- Four five zero one 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 five. That's right. Hey, in the fifty third annual Brookings Harbor Community Bazaar, be going on again at Isaiah Middle School Gym and Brookings Harbor High School Cafeteria in the corner of Pacific and Pioneer Streets in Brookings. This will be happening on the eleventh from nine a.m. to four p.m. There is no admission charge. Over 95 vendors with quality handcrafted items. Yeah, yeah there All you right. go. All right. You got to jump start on your holiday shopping for Absolutely. a good cause. cause. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they have some information here from the Manly Arts Center about their featured artist for November. So the Manly Arts Center in Brookings, Oregon is featuring new works by abstract artist Elizabeth Roberts. This is happening through the month of November. Also featured for the holiday season is an expanded selection of local fine art and artisan gifts including handmade ceramics and pottery, wood and fiber crafts, jewelry, exquisite paintings, and limited edition signed prints at bargain prices. The Manly Art Center will hold a reception during Art Walk on November 11th from 3 to 6 at the gallery, where food and wine will be served. You can stop in early for best gift selections or any time now through December to get exclusive art treasures for every budget. Zoe West's new paintings are from her Life Form series, where she describes as Organic abstract representing thoughts, emotions, motives, and ideas at the molecular level. The intangible working of our mind and inner being rendered in colorful probabilities. And local art historian Pete Chaser will conduct the interview on November 11th at the Art Walk. Guests can meet and talk with the artist directly and watch the mudslingers prepare their ceramic masterpieces, which will be featured at the Manly Art Center in December. Yes, indeed. Hey, the Brookings Harbor Garden Club is presenting Grafting with John Savage. This will be happening on November 16th at 11 a.m. Doors open at 1045, and this will be at the Checo Public Library, 405 Alder Street in Brookings. 1991, John Savage contacted UCSC Santa Cruz Agricultural Department to inquire about fruit tree grafting and was directed to an organization called California Rare Fruit Growers Association. He has been a member of that organization since. John learned how to graft the following year and have grafted several hundred fruit trees. He will be discussing the different methods of grafting, information relating to grafting, grafting tools and materials, preparing for the grafting day, as well as demonstrating a couple of grafting techniques, and admission is free for this. Yeah. All right. And hey, the party girls of Del Norte and Curry County mm-hmm. are having another quarter craze benefit auctions. They're presenting a very merry quarter craze for Santa's workshop. This is going to be happening at the Elk Valley Casino on the 17th of November from 5.30 to 9 p.m. You're invited to come out and help support this wonderful organization. Bring a stocking stuffer, tape, or wrapping paper for a chance at the Magic Paddle. Dress festive for a second chance. Dessert is available by donation. And dinner is available from the Warriors Bar and Grill. This event is for people ages 18 and over. You can help give Santa's workshop a big boost for the holiday. There you go. And now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, sticking on the birthday theme, here are a few quotes from Prime Minister Winston Churchill. He was born on November 30th, 1874. He says, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Everyone has his day, and some days last longer than others. I can relate with that one. Personally, I'm always ready to learn, although I do not always like being taught. And last but not least, if you're going through hell, keep going. I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Winston Churchill with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Some days are longer than others. I'm yeah. just so tired, guys. <laughs> oh, Winston. Winston, he had some good ones. Yeah, yeah, very pithy man. Hey, there is CPR, AED, and first aid training happening at the Del Norte Child Care Council. That's at 212 K Street in Crescent City. 
This is going on on the 18th of November from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. There are going to be breaks in between. This course will prepare you to recognize and take care of a variety of first aid, breathing, and cardiac emergencies involving adults, children, and infants. The cost is $65 per person. And for more information about the course, you can contact Angela at 707-464-8311, extension 224. Yep, and Checo Activity Center, located at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings, is having a rummage sale. This will be happening on November 18th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Of course, it's holiday-themed, with baked goods, candies, holiday decorations, arts and crafts, hobbyist items, and a whole lot more. So there you go. Great. All right. And the Brookings Elks Lodge is going to be hosting a gala by the sea night at the Elks event on the 18th of November from 5 to 10 p.m. The Brookings Elks Lodge is thrilled to announce their upcoming November Gala by the Sea Night, a night of elegance and philanthropy. You can treat yourself to a delectable evening with your choice of prime rib or chicken cordon bleu, lovingly prepared by their skilled catering team. And there is a vegetarian option available. You can dance the night away to the beats of their live DJ, ensuring a lively and enjoyable atmosphere for all. Refreshments are available at the No Host Bar, offering a selection of your favorite drinks throughout the night. You can discover unique treasures and incredible experiences at their silent auction where your bids will directly contribute to their noble cause. Tickets are available for purchase at the resource office located at 539 Hemlock Street. We should mention that this is a benefit directly for the community helpers and the food bank. You can also conveniently purchase tickets at their website at brookingsharborfoodbank.org. You can simply mention gala tickets in the memo. They'll be happy to mail them to you or have them ready for pickup at their office. And the ticket prices are, for a single ticket, $75. For a couple's ticket, $125. And there are business tables available, and it's $375 for six people. All proceeds from this momentous event will be directed towards the acquisition of a larger food warehouse and resource center. Yeah, very cool. Mm-hmm. Very good. Excuse to wear the tux and get that I've nice got dress ball out. Gowns, guys. Ball gowns, guys. I'm always for looking for an excuse loud. to wear. Yeah. <laughs> you get her. <laughs> that sounds good. Hey, Seroptimus International Crescent City annual holiday artisan fair going on. This is at the Crescent City Cultural Center located at 1001 Front Street. On November 19th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., there'll be artisan vendors cookies, seized candy, and a soup table. Admission is free. I was going to say they got to balance out all that sugar with some soup. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, all them cookies, yeah. yeah. And at the Checo Activity Center at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings, they're having a Thanksgiving lunch fundraiser. This is going to be on the 23rd of November from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's $25 per lunch, BYOB, they say. Proceeds from this dinner will directly benefit the programs of the Checo Activity Centers, including Meals on Wheels. For information about this event, you can call 541-469-6822. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, Kat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know? that associated with Eastern decadence, the fork was once seen as a blasphemous and effeminate? It's true. Here's the story. A story holds that the fork, as a personal eating utensil, was first brought to Europe when a Byzantine princess married the Dog of Venice in the 11th century. The fork in question was a two-tined gold fork, which she used to eat preserved fruits to avoid sticky fingers. Well, while the concept can seem logical today, it was scandalous during her era, and it caused ripples in the Catholic society, where these dainty forks were seen as sacrilegious and decadent. The fork wasn't associated with Christian values on the ground that it wasn't essential to life. Instead, it was perceived as something that would be used by a seductress of the East. Whether the offense laid in the similarity between the fork and the devil's pitchfork, or in the break with eating traditions of the time, it is said when the princess died of the plague, St. Peter Damien, a Benedictine monk, sought justified punishment for her vanity, since God had created hands to act as natural forks. Well, by the early 17th century, the fork had changed form, gained tines and an added curve for scooping, and had reached England from where it spread to the American colonies, and was charged with many observed customs used to define different classes and social groups. By the 19th century, the fork had taken over and dominated the table in the Western culture, leaving the knife and the spoon in its shadow. 
Hope you enjoyed this week's bit of weird history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Oh, scandalous. She used a fork. Right. The, the harlot. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> Jezebel used a fork. I know, right? Only Toledo. Yeah, no, only pure people have dirty yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah, use your fingers. <laughs> All right, you moving right along. don't know where your right fingers were back here. in those days, so there you go. Yeah. Hey, the Elk Valley Casino is presenting Josh Heinrichs. This is happening on the 25th. Doors opening 7 p.m. Show starting at 8 p.m. Josh Heinrichs is an American reggae singer-songwriter who was the former lead singer of internationally known indie reggae band Ja Roots and current owner-operator of the indie reggae record label Ganja Records. Since leaving the band in 2008, Heinrichs has launched a successful solo career and has released several albums, including a number one Billboard charting release with Good Vibes in 2016. Now this is happening at a casino, so you must be 21 or older to attend. Tickets are available exclusively through Etix. Yeah, I'm thinking Ja Roots, man. I remember that, that was like a few years back, those guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, and they got Nature's Coastal Holiday and Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce is presenting the Festival of Lights opening night at Azalea Park. This is a ribbon cutting with Santa Claus. It's on November 24th at 5 p.m. Yeah. And, of course, that is paving the way for the opening of the Coastal Holiday Festival of Lights, which is happening from the 24th of November through the 27th of December. And that's happening 5 to 9 p.m. every single night. It features sweets, treats, and entertainment, hundreds of light sculptures, and adults can get in for $3. Kids 12 and under get in for free. And there are Santa visits happening every Friday and Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. Yes, indeedy. Hey, and Lucky Seven Casino is presenting Livin' Lovin' Led, Led Zeppelin, the tribute band. This is happening November 25th at 8 p.m. Get ready to rock out to the legendary sounds of Led Zeppelin at the Lucky Seven Casino and Hotel on Saturday, November 25th in the Tallawa Event Center. The tribute band brings the songs of Led Zeppelin to life. From Stairway to Heaven to Cashmere, get ready to experience the magic of Led Zeppelin like never before. Tickets at eventbrite.com. Doors open at 7 p.m. Show starts at 8. And, of course, you must be 21 years older to attend this event because it's at a casino. There you go. Oh, okay. that sounds good, though. Let's mm-hmm. have a, Oh, man. Uh, you tempted, uh, Bruce? <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, the yeah. only way I could have seen them was um, go to England. Yeah. was the only time. Uh, you know, they, I think they quit their American tours in the yeah, late 70s yeah. or whatever, uh, you know, when I was yeah. hitting the concert scene and everything at 18, 19. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So didn't get to see them. Saw a lot of other cool ones, you know, Fleetwood Mac and all them back oh, yeah. in the day. Yeah, saw originals. But uh, cool. Zeppelin eluded me. It, it's mm-hmm. I like tributes that are really good ones, you know. All right, okay. So yeah, you're yeah. tempted out here. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey. Yeah. The Curry Public Library up in Gold Beach is presenting their 2023 Gingerbread House Competition. This is going to be starting on Saturday, November 25th, and you can stop in from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can pick up a free gingerbread house kit from the library. This is a first-come, first-serve, while supplies last kind of thing. You can also purchase your own kit or make your own gingerbread house at home. And then on Sunday, December 10th, from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., you can bring your completed house for an in-person judging extravaganza at the library featuring wintry treats, secret judges, fabulous prizes, and of course an ugly sweater contest. Okay, I got you. And here are the rules. Participants are welcome to use the kit provided, their own kit, or make their own gingerbread house from scratch. Regardless, all parts of the gingerbread house display must be edible, with the exception of the base or platform for the house. To be eligible for entry in the family division, at least one member of your group slash household must be under the age of 18. And in each division, prizes are going to be awarded for the following. Best overall gingerbread house, the most creative use of food items, and best presentation of the theme hometown holiday. That's right. Very cool. Very cute, cool. Cute. Mm-hmm. It's that time of year again. That's their annual thing, and I love it. <laughs> yep. yep. Hey, and it's game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This is happening at 615 Checo Avenue, right next to the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. They have Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and a whole lot more fun there going on. It's a cool little shop to check out, too. Hey, and before we get going here, because we only got a few minutes left, I got to do a PSA. 
Uh, if you hadn't noticed, the, the insider of Southern Oregon was has not been out on the it's not on the streets yet because we will not have a November issue. Apparently, what happened? Um, well, Linda Johnson has been doing the paper for over ten years. I, I was thinking about it the other day how long she'd been with me, and she'd been doing it for over about ten years. And due to uh, complications beyond her control or anything, she was unable to do the November issue, and uh, she will no longer be doing the paper for me. She had to quit and everything, and I wish the best for her and hope everything uh, works out for her. But on a bright note, we will be out in December because Michelle Bubert, of, uh, of course, of Oregon Coast VIP Marketing, mm-hmm. is going to jump in and help me, train me, help me do the December issue, train me how to do the issue, and so I can start doing the paper myself. I've mm-hmm. got everything I need, the computer and everything. We got it all set up, an office and everything ready to go. I'm going to be meeting with her on Tuesday of this week, uh, right. you know, uh, yeah. So when this is airing, I met with her yesterday and I hope everything worked out good, but we're getting all the templates and everything together and she's going to rock it out for me and help me save the paper Hooray, and keep Michelle. it going. Yes, that's How great. Cool I really her. appreciate her mm-hmm. doing that. And I, like I said, I wish nothing but the best for Linda. I hope everything works out for mm-hmm. her. And uh, she did really good for years, man. She, I mean, she designed all the posters, all the ads. She just yeah. was, she was great. And mm-hmm. it's like, I had to, I, as I told her, I go, well, I got to find somebody just as good as you, uh, you know, and knows how to do it just like you did and everything. And so it's like, great. Michelle was right there. One of my clients as well. She advertises with me in the paper and has been with me. Good friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. So part of the events and everything. So, yeah. Now on that note, I just want to let everybody know there won't be a November issue. And uh, to all our clients out there that are hearing this, uh, I will be giving you all an extra month, of course, on your uh, six months that you have with me that you Mm -hmm. advertise and everything like that so i just wanted to let everybody know that because we're running out of time and i needed to make that and i'll be announcing it online too so of course of course well cool all right well Mm -hmm. on to on to new things you're going to be gaining a new skill there yeah Yeah. i am i really (laughs) am i'm looking forward to it yeah 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 i'm kind of tripping i'm going to still need to get some help with the ad things should help me because the Mm -hmm. linda just she could take an ad i give her the info she could just take it and make make it it Everybody knows the paper. Those ads are all done by her, you know? So it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, so I'm hoping Michelle can help me with that area a little bit longer, you know? <laughs> yeah. We'll figure something out there. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to work out just fine. And it's like I probably should have done this years ago, at least known what was going on just for an emergency. So mm-hmm. my bad, but we'll, well get her. We'll get her. You're getting it figured out. We'll there be right go. back in no time. Back and said, oh, well, heck, we just talked ourselves right to the end. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> so we're getting the flying fickle fair here from the producer here so we got to get going so before we go it's time to close out this week's show i'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer brother tom for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's insider report and please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to kciw 100.7 fm and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer you can listen to all the fantastic show podcasts including the insider report at kciw.org and hey while you're there check out the live streaming as well Well, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out out there. Bam! (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I realized this morning when I was getting here, I'm going, hey, I better say something about the, while I got to this, I better do a PSA on uh, why there ain't no newspaper out there. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.